So, the New World Order has a problem, their money printing scam is becoming visible to more and more people. But who are the New World Order? This is a very hard question to answer. As the New World Order know, it is important the people they are oppressing do not know who is oppressing them or even understand they are being oppressed. I will go into more detail as to who and what the New World Order is later in the video, but for now, I will explain the structure of the control mechanism used by the New World Order to subjugate the people of the world. The New World Order control mechanism is made up of three main parts. The first of those control mechanisms are the religions. Religions are used by the New World Order to control the masses by making them believe the New World Order operatives have a direct line to God. So they better do as the New World Order operative tells them to, or they are going against God's word, and they will not be allowed in heaven when they die. If you have studied any of the major religions, you will know they are all constructed by man, and any religious leader of any intellect will know this, and has to be in on the scam. The second of the control mechanisms is the money system, provided by the central banks. Just like the religious example, the people at the top of the banking system know they are creating something from nothing and selling it to people, as discussed in part 1. So we know the top bankers are in on the scam too. The next of the three control mechanisms is the military. Again, if you have studied war and conflicts through the ages, you will know that they have been constructed, or if you like, pulled out of thin air, just like the first two control mechanisms. In order to have a world war, or large war, first you need the finance, you may think well. The belligerents decided on a war, then got the finance. But then that raises the question, why they cannot get the finance for hospitals or a decent society, which would negate the need for war. So the highest ranking military officers are aware they are fighting wars that have been constructed to benefit the new world order. But I hear you say what about the politicians? The three powers, or the New World Order, created the political system we have now. The left and right paradigm, so the debt slaves would have a choice as to who represents them in their servitude. Again, the representation they receive is illusionary. There is a pattern and, the pattern is, everything in society, that is supposed to be there to help, is an illusion like a magic trick. The New World Order is very keen on secret societies, magic and devil worship. This is because their magic is like every other magic, a confidence trick, and in order to believe, you have to think you cannot understand the magic. The reality of their secret societies, magic, and devil worship, is used to hide their conspiring in debt slavery, and various other scams, they have used over the years. If we then push the interest rate sky high, the debt slaves will beg for our help. Yes, let's do it. What are you whispering about in there? We are just worshipping the devil, that's all. Oh, okay. Bloody weirdos. The politicians are even worse than the people at the top of this pyramid of deceit. Politicians are being paid to ensure the people they are supposed to represent are kept in bondage from the day they are born to the day they die. These politicians are well aware of the system they represent because they are all feeding off the same establishment teat. The best way to describe what these politicians are facilitating is to say they are doing the same job as the Jews in Nazi death camps who are helping the Nazis herd their fellow Jews into gas chambers. Many people in the world while the Jews and others were being exterminated in death camps had no idea such atrocities were taking place. Today we have the internet, and according to government figures many unexplained deaths are occurring right now at the time of recording. Are these deaths, and deaths from a strange banana, added to deaths caused by the ice cream, and the refusal of treatments for illnesses not deemed important by the system, 
plus deaths from loneliness from crack towns. A stealth, 10 aside. Implemented with lessons learned from past, 10 asides. In this section of the video, you are going to be referred to as a debt slave, and your mind control will now want you to turn this video off, please fight this urge, remember George Carlin said. They own you. Do not vote. If you vote left or right, you are voting for the New World Order. The New World Order have created a faux political, religious, institutional, and economic system to give the impression we have some say in our servitude. You may feel you are not a slave as you have money to spend and a little free time, but what the New World Order has cleverly hidden is the debt you are paying unknowingly. The money you could be spending and the free time to spend it in would increase vastly, if you are not paying an illegal hidden debt via taxes. Because they have used mind control on our ancestors and ourselves right up to the present day, their mind control and social engineering has been so effective, the belief we are not debt slaves is in our DNA, and any suggestion we are debt slaves will cause cognitive dissonance, usually in the form of mild discomfort or anger. It is possible that all corporations today are owned by one umbrella organization. The New World Order learned a long time ago not to advertise to the world what they own. So in order to hide their assets from unwanted scrutiny, they constructed trusts. Trusts are a way of hiding the ownership of assets and money. This being a fact means we cannot know with any certainty who owns what. It is obvious the capitalist competition has been won, and we are now witnessing the bankrupting and assimilation of all small and medium-sized businesses, the repossession of houses, and all assets, plus the recapture and control of all debt slaves, via the new social credit system, and the placing of them all under one corporation's control, the New World Order Corporation. Now we have the main control structure of the New World Order system in our minds. We can now move on to the individual facets and subparts of a system which has been ingrained into humanity's DNA over many generations. Let's start with corporate managers. Many people are unaware they are establishment system operatives and believe they are okay, using the power afforded to them by the establishment system to attack people they do not like. As long as they keep the workers slash debt slaves they have power over under establishment system control. As corporations are monopolies, this form of management is preferred, as the only concern for the corporations is to keep debt slaves in order and paying their debt to the corporations and the banks. To achieve this, the New World Order has constructed a legal bullying system with inbuilt, let's pretend, anti-bullying processes, laws policies and institutions all geared up to look like they are anti-bullying, but every process they have is designed to stop you winning a case of bullying against the new world order system. For example the law is so deliberately twisted and convoluted, you need a solicitor who sees the law for what it is, and looks upon their profession, as at best, a game to play, that is as predictable as a flip of a coin, to represent you in a law system, that is then open to the interpretations of judges, who swear allegiance to the new world order system. To top it off, you have to pay the solicitors extortionate amounts of money, they know you cannot afford, because if you could, you would not have been in this predicament. Debt slavery is designed to give you no option but to accept the unacceptable. Many people are suffering depression, caused by being subliminally aware of, their and the whole of humanity's debt slavery to the new world order system. 
The exploitative industries created to pretend help people with depression caused by being subliminally aware of being exploited by the New World Order system are all funded by people being exploited by the New World Order system, including those with depression caused by being subliminally aware of the New World Order system exploiting them. Hmm? The next facet of the New World Order control mechanism are the laborers, the people who did not fall completely for the New World Order mind control, or failed to get themselves into an exploitative position as regards better goods for their slavery. These people failed to get themselves into a position of power over their fellow slaves, still have the mind-controlled belief that conforming will pay off at some point, or at the very least, they are part of something bigger and better than themselves. These people will follow any instructions by the New World Order, even if they know it will affect themselves and their colleagues badly. They follow these orders blindly, as their New World Order mind control tells them, it is for the greater good. The irony is, this very control mechanism, if it were to input justice, fairness, and decency, instead of fear and greed, would produce decent people, who would strive to produce more just and fair people, because their mind control says this is what is required for the greater good. So. Who are the New World Order? The New World Order are a group of individuals continuing the oppression of slaves, going back thousands of years. When civilization first appeared, these people realized they could use religion, war, and money to maintain their positions of power over slaves who believed in religion, war, and money. They did this by becoming religious leaders, money lenders, and war leaders. They were and are clever enough to know, it is in their interest to be represented on both sides of all conflicts they have constructed, and to make sure the slaves who believed in religion, money, and war, produced, using institutions and laws, constructed by the New World Order, more slaves who believed in religion, money, and war, and persecuted and killed those that did not, for example the Inquisition. We are the descendants of the believers and this is the reason why many people cannot see their debt slave reality, as the ability to comprehend their debt slave reality has been bred out of them over thousands of years. The New World Order are the descendants of the original New World Order, i.e., first, the very top leaders of religions, money lending, and the military. These beings are aware of the New World Order control system and can control its direction of travel. Second, slaves. These beings are not aware of the New World Order and believe the New World Order system they are unknowingly facilitating is just a fair system looking after their interests. Many people believe the New World Order structure is a many-layered power pyramid giving the debt slaves the belief that even if the system is a slave system, they are, or could be, above their fellow slaves which allows most people to live their entire lives as a slave, purely on the subliminal comforting thought, they are above other slaves in the slave structure. Which is why the pyramid hypothesis is encouraged in conspiracy circles. This hypothesis is wrong and it is important the new world order, hierarchy, is understood by all. It is, masters, then slaves, full stop. So the New World Order is all of us, and has been for thousands of years. Back to the truth about money, the problem the New World Order has now is a slave population that has been controlled by debt for the last 100 years is now beginning to see the system they considered to be working for their benefit, 
has in fact just been a cover to hide their servitude to the New World Order. And the debt slave system has been so overly used by the New World Order, the amount of money the debt slaves owe now is so large, even the New World Order know it is farcical to continue with this form of control, especially as the debt slaves are now saying, hang on, where do you keep getting this money from, to lend us? In normal circumstances, before the debt owed was astronomical and the debt slaves did not have access to so much information, they would have gone for the old fail-safe and instigated a world war. The war would end, the people would be informed the war had destroyed the economy and we need to rebuild, and the banks would start printing money again and lending to people to buy businesses and houses, with the intention of claiming those assets for themselves at some point. They cannot do this now, because the people are in a debt so deep, it cannot be hidden. So realizing they need to maintain control of their assets, i.e., the people, they need them to be fighting something, they created a climate to change crises which to all intents and purposes is a long-term war for the people to fight and keep them distracted from the money tree scam that is out of control. But they still needed to change the debt slave control system to a cashless social credit system which by a happy coincidence they now have the technology to implement this new social credit control mechanism requires you to own nothing and lease everything you need from the cashless new world order system you sign a contract and pay for any items you need with your labor and or compliance all recorded via an all-electric digital recording system this system will record every detail of your life and will determine what you can eat, buy, drink, who you can see, and where you can go. The social credit system will also inform the new world order if you are a threat to the system and can turn you off, i.e. Stop your access to the system by giving you a zero social credit rating. You may think you can just live off grid if this was to happen to you. But remember they are implementing laws that stop you from engaging with the natural world because of climate change. They need the time and the excuse to create this new social credit system because, if they were to implement it overnight, with no explanation, the people would see it for what it is, an actual slave prison. Again by a happy coincidence, the very thing that would provide the excuse to implement such a draconian system happened. The banana pandemic has given the new world order. The excuse to bring in the social credit system and the central bank digital currency, CBDC, needed to enforce compliance. And this banana also gave the new world order system the excuse to hoover up all the remaining small and medium-sized businesses by putting them out of business while the lockdowns were implemented. The economy is being primed for the final crash of the old debt slave system. And the slaves pushed into a corner where they will beg for a social credit tyranny. Bearing in mind the general population is effectively part of the new world order. The chances of stopping the new social credit slave system by appealing to the new world order's leaders or by taking to the streets and demonstrating, or by voting in their rigged system, is zero.
The only way to stop the New World Order is to create a new system, populated with people who understand the New World Order system has to be completely consigned to the past. In order to create a new fair and decent system it has to be initially implemented by people who are not New World Order operatives. The reason the world has deteriorated to its present condition is the people who are corrupting it, are able to do it in plain sight, as they can profess to being a good person doing a good job for other people, but in reality are doing evil selfish things, under cover of the New World Order establishment system. The People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party members state they will treat everyone as if they were themselves. This statement guarantees, if anyone is not treated by them or sees them not treating someone else as if they were themselves, they are obliged to resign any office immediately. If you can see the action needed to create a decent fair world for everyone, join the P -A -E -A -C -P Change your mind. Bring the band in. Optics, speak of the loss, I'm eating lobster, chopsticks 